the place. The location of the business unit can be crucial. There are five districts in every town. The trendy neighborhood, the one of the most expensive one, is the location where you will find the majority of the trendy inhabitants of the city, meaning they will be looking for the highest quality of goods. As the rent price goes down, as so will go down the concentration of people, as well as their ability to buy expensive goods. In general, the rule is simple. The closer you get to the city center, the more people you can encounter. The lower you go, the less people you encounter. However, your chances to sell cheap goods in residential area, outskirts or suburbs actually increases. Which location is the best for you? Well, it depends. You will need to find out. Specifically for the retail, depending on the location where you're putting up your store, you either can attract the right clients or the wrong ones. That means location can be either a minus and have a negative effect on your sales or a positive effect on your sales. A place in wholesale, but as mentioned in the price part, the price you put up for sales does not include logistics and customs. So when you're dealing in wholesales and you want to provide your clients, or in these case retailers, producers or service providers, a good deal, maybe putting up a warehouse in a specific country can be a very good decision. And finally, same as in retail, in service sector, certain service providers can change their district in order to find a better segment of the clients. Be careful because certain service business units cannot change size or place after they have been built. In all three cases, the size of the business unit you're using to provide your services or to sell goods is also important. In retail, the size of the store will directly affect the amount of visitors it can fit in, not only the goods, but also the visitors. As well as in service sector, the size will give opportunity to service a larger amount of clients at the same time. 